You might have been amongst the hundreds of thousands of people who followed our Plains TV online broadcasts live from 2016 air shows, because of course we've been filming and recording the British air show scene again. But whether you followed us live or not, here is the pick of those 2016 shows. The season started under the shadow of the tragedy at the Shoreham show late in the previous season. The continuing inquiries of the Air Accident Investigation Branch, the Civil Aviation Authority and indeed the police meant that everybody involved in British air shows found themselves under increased scrutiny. Some people even worried that it might signal the end of air shows as we know them. But organisers and teams, operators and crews all rose to the challenge. They gave us a memorable and safe season of shows, even if it was a bit scaled back. 2016 became the year of the United Kingdom's latest frontline jet, the F-35 Lightning II. It gave an impressive role demonstration at the Royal International Air Tattoo and a rather more limited show at Farnborough. The Air Tattoo also gave us an awesome vision of the extraordinary manoeuvrability of the United States Air Force's F-22 Raptor. At Farnborough we got glimpses of two aeroplanes that we haven't seen much of lately, the gorgeous de Havilland DH-88 Comet and the not quite so gorgeous but still fascinating Edgeley Optica. Flight Lieutenant Mark Long displayed his panache with the Royal Air Force's current frontline fighter, the Typhoon. The weather for his Eastbourne display gave us some wonderful flash vapour effects and he also treated us to an exotic night display at the Scottish Air Show. The civilians gave us a unique two-ship routine by the OV-10 Bronco and the Skyvan and Team Raven put on a polished performance in heavenly blue skies. The Warbird highlight of the year was probably the formation of no less than 13 Spitfires and a Seafire at Duxford in September, followed by a magnificent tail chase over the aerodrome. Disc 2 is jam-packed with extended in-cockpit filming from a wide selection of displays, from the Airbus A380 and the Gazelle Squadron to the Strikemaster and the Bronco solo display. Here's a look at what we've got coming up. 